deal with my stuffed poblano peppers on Instagram, legit Ava Adams, and TikTok, Stacy's Mom Syndrome. So now I'm giving you the full recipe. Super easy, y'all. So first you're gonna boil your chicken to shred it. You are going to get your poblano peppers and you're gonna, oh, you're gonna, I turn my oven on to 400 degrees. You cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes until they get charred. And then, honestly, it tastes better if you get fresh onions and fresh tomatoes and saute that for about five to seven or eight minutes. But if you're in a rush, just grab some pico. And that is what I'm doing today. And then I put just a tiny bit of sour cream. And then if you're having, you know, cheddar is the best, honestly, put cheddar on it. But when I try to be good, I do this blend, the pizza blend, and I put just a tiny bit. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Super easy, you guys. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna clean these out, and then I will show you how I shred my chicken, put everything together, pop it in the oven. But first things first, I gotta get these charred. So I just spray this with olive oil spray, and then I'm gonna clean these up. Clean it, just remove the inner portion. It's literally all you have to do. Um, I do curbside pickup for most of my groceries. They did not get me the same size peppers at all, y'all. <laughs> this one's like a giant and the rest of them are like the regular poblano size, which is fine. Whatever, you know, it is what it is. My chicken is boiling. It's not a rabbit, I promise. If you, if you get that reference, props. If you don't, Google, I guess. I don't know. So now I'm going to, I do prefer using this kind of olive oil. I should have done this on the other side. So I am going to like, okay, so just to get it like really, because it gives it that good charred, you know, um, you want them to get really nice and charred, or at least that's how I like mine. And cut a little bit like that. And bake it about 400 degrees. I know, us Americans don't use Celsius, I'm sorry, we're like the only country that doesn't. I'm not even American, but I live here, so it's a habit. So you cook them about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your peppers. So these are going in the oven. timer for 20 minutes so then you know to boil your chicken it's super easy you don't even need to put as much water as I did you just throw it in here with water and it takes about like 10 to 15 minutes and then you let it cool down and then you grab a fork and you just shred it or your fingers whatever I won't judge okay so these are looking so good see they're just how I like them so now what I can do is I can take them out and let them cool down and then I will stuff them and put them back in for an additional five to seven minutes. So my chicken is cooling down. You can see there's steam. Once it's cooled down, I'll show you how to easily shred it with two forks or you can just peel it with your hands, whatever is easier for you. This is gonna be your new favorite recipe because it's so quick and easy and you can do so much stuff with it. You can put like ground turkey, ground beef, you can make it vegetarian with black beans and rice. Like there's so many options. You can make it like Italian, you can make it more like Mexican, you know what I mean? You can switch the herbs and spices. Like, possibilities are endless. I wanna know if you have a variation of stuffed poblano paper. <laughs> stuffed poblano peppers. So like I was saying, you can use different spices. So sometimes if I use like turkey, I do like the chili powder, you know, to give it that kind of like vibe. Um, I use the country clara seasoning sometimes. And then this, as you can tell, savory spice, you guys, I love them. So I'm gonna show you. 
So now I'm gonna shred my chicken, and you literally, I mean, this is like literally all you, it's so easy to just, you just, you know, it's all you do. And it's gonna cook more in the bell pepper, so it's okay if it's not, you know, it's almost cooked, but yeah. But honestly, sometimes you guys, I personally think it works better if you just get in there with your hands. You know, when you're cooking, you gotta get dirty sometimes. So oh, yeah, it's a little hot still. So you put your shredded chicken in a bowl. I add, honestly, just enough sour cream to like keep it together, not a lot, like just barely enough. And then like I said, if you have your fresh tomatoes and onions that you've cooked, props to you. You're better than me because I just bought some pico. I kind of like it with pico though. And then I put a lot of pico. I put, all, so we're gonna put it like that and then I'll probably add more. Okay. But yeah, a lot of pico. And then I'm gonna season it. Some of my all-purpose seasoning. That's good. This one has salt, pepper, paprika, cumin, celery, onion, garlic. So it's kind of like sticks to the same kind of spices, but like I said, you know, you can switch it up a little bit. Um, you can also leave out the sour cream and I've done that and it's fine, but I feel like it does taste a little bit better with the sour cream, let's be honest. So then you just Grab your pepper and literally, you, I mean, you stuff it, right? That's what this recipe is. So you just, not with this like stupid little spoon. I need a bigger spoon, but that's okay. So yeah, you literally just get as much as you can in there. And yeah, and you stuff them all. Um, I thought I had, I might have to use more chicken, which is fine. I have it. Okay. This one's the big one, so it might require more. But yeah. Okay. I mean, y'all, that's literally, this is it. Okay, I've got a few more, and then I'm going to show you. But it's so easy. And you're going to cook it for about... An additional 10 minutes and the last like five to ten minutes about and the last like few minutes you're gonna take it out and put some cheese optional it doesn't have to have cheese if you don't put cheese on it I suggest adding some pico or some kind of sauce so it's not too dry when you take it out oh that pepper is still hot you guys <laughs> oh that burns my hand okay I have my hair up because it is getting hot in this kitchen, y'all. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. So then I like to, you know, put them closely together. And I'm gonna pack in a little bit more if I can, because like I said, I put in as much as possible. And I actually, if I have leftover, I like to do this. And just use all of it. Okay. Look at how beautiful that is. We are popping this in the oven for about three to five minutes, then I'm gonna add some cheese. What would we do Five minutes, starting without now. our Alexa's, Echo's, Amazon, whatever the hell you call yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the final touch now is my cheese. This is the best part. And again, if you are lactose intolerant or trying to be good, don't put the cheese on it. I am not supposed to have a lot of dairy, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta say the hell with it. Then I'm gonna cook that for about, I don't know, 
two to five minutes, basically until the cheese melts and gets nice and good. I put these upside down. <laughs> I promise I know what I'm doing. Not yet, almost. Now I can say, ta-da! And I'm gonna show you how yummy these are after they cool down. I have someone distracting me behind the camera. <laughs> I didn't even get pablo and pepper, hold on. Mm. Mm. That is so yummy and I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. All right. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're going to try to make my stuffed poblano peppers. And if you have a variation of the recipe, comment down below. Hit that bell so you don't miss. <laughs> Hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.